made to Chicago. Uh, this place is like a second home. My mom grew up here. Uh, as you can see, big Bears fan, big Bears, Bulls, and Cubs fan. So just excited to be here. You know, we've been coming here for just so long since I was a little kid. And just, just love being here, especially on our little break that we have. Hey, 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 everybody. We're in Chicago right now. Hopefully I'm doing this right. I don't know. I've never filmed before. <laughs> It's kind of cool. Yeah, we are lost. We do not know which hotel room number is ours. So we're looking for that right now. Having a wonderful time in Chicago. <laughs> Got a lot of great shopping done and a lot of walking too. Went to this amazing breakfast spot, Wildberry. Lexi forgot our room number. It's crazy. Man, goodness. But hopefully we'll figure it out soon. So hope you guys are having a blessed day. Oh, we found it. Oh, all right. We're at the Bulls Arena. So excited. It's my first time here. You know, growing up, my mom was just always so big on just, you know, preaching Michael Jordan to us. And, you know, so I know who the real GOAT is, you know. Um, and just seeing the last dance was so awesome because my mom grew up in this era, going to all the games, just finally being here for the uh, first time in my life is really exciting. It's kind of crazy because, like, I've always been just, like, a really, really big Bears fan. I mean, like, I've always loved the Bulls, Bears, and Cubs, but, like, it's funny because I've been, I've been everywhere but the uh, but Soldier Field, so I'm just waiting to go to Soldier Field finally. Sky Pippen on the walls, these people I've heard of my entire life, finally getting to be in the place where they play that. It's, it's so cool. Like, I'm just, I'm, it's just so electric. You know, just the history. It's growing up being a Bulls fan my entire life and finally getting to be here. You know, I can't wait to go to Soldier Field one day. I've been to Wrigley Field countless times. Just, I love it. You know, I, just, I love Chicago. I love the city. I love the people. The food's incredible. Can't complain at all. So. I can definitely play next year. Um, I was just ineligible this past season due to, of course, NCAA uh, and their ruling. And then also regarding that as well, I'm very happy for that the rule was changed so that guys aren't in my safe position. Because I know how how much being in my position sucks. So I'm very, very excited to have to get a chance to be able to play transfer twice and be able to play wherever they, need, wherever they want to play. I'm just so excited to get to be the Bulls arena. This is so electric. Like this is the house Michael Jordan built, Scotty Pippen, Dennis Rodman, uh, Horace Grant, uh, Steve Kerr. There's so many greats played here. And just being here, it's just it's so. I don't know. I feel like I'm saying it. You know, I feel like I'm staying in history. And just again, Coach Prime and Shador, you know, they always talk about being legendary. Well, oh, oh, that's Shador's name, be legendary, right? What's more legendary than having your banner up there? You know, that's, that's, I mean, hopefully one day, you know, I, my career can be so great and whatever I do, right, there could be a banner of me somewhere, you know? So that's, that's the goal. I mean, just being here again is just so motivating, so inspiring, you know, growing up. Just looking up at these athletes and what they all accomplish. I'm mean, just being a big Chicago sports fan, so I'm, I'm so excited to be here, so excited for my very first game. That was really cool. You know, my first experience at the United Center. It was awesome. I mean, I wish we, <laughs> I wish we won. Uh, but I just, I'm just so thankful for the opportunity to be here and just get to see where the great Michael Jordan got to play. And, I mean, it, it was just so overwhelming being awesome, you know, and just just being there just felt so electric, just hearing the theme song as the guys run out. You know, again, I wish we got in the W, but that's just kind of how sports go sometimes. And just one of the questions they asked, I was um, spreading the comments was, if I can play this year, yeah, I can play this year. I was only ineligible just this past season and my uh, suspension's up, so... I like hit the ground running in January. Can't wait to pull the show for you guys. For me, Michael Jordan's the greatest basketball player of all time. I mean, I know you guys, the newer guy, generation likes LeBron James. I mean, he's cool, but just to me, my mom and just everybody, my family's from Illinois, Chicago, so it was Michael Jordan. It was Walter Payton. Those are the people I grew up admiring in the sports world and how they did things and how they performed, how they played. So being able to watch The Last Dance and be at the place where all that stuff took place is just... It's an honor, you know, and a privilege. 
And so to me, Michael Jordan will always be the best. There's just no changing my mind. I, I don't really, you know, personally care how many accolades King James gets. That's wonderful, it's great. But just Michael Jordan to me, just the way he competed, the way he played, the way he performed, I mean, that's just something to, you know, that you can, you can take stuff from what he did in basketball and apply it to everyday life, sports world, um, anything really. And I just, I, I love Michael Jordan, the player. Um, I don't per particularly, you know, I don't like celebrities as people. That's just not me, but I like, you know, looking at what they did in their craft and taking kind of snippets of things they did and how they approached things and putting it towards my work ethic, et cetera. So Michael Jordan will always be the GOAT and being able to be the United Center was just an electric, fun experience. So I can't wait to do it again one day. It's chilly. Real, real chilly. Real chilly today. It was really cool. Um, we just walked over. What was the name of the bridge? Couldn't tell you the name of the bridge, but it was really nice. Um, saw Jerry Deli, walked over to more Chicago areas, and just got to also walk through Millennium Park. And that was that was that was wonderful. You know, getting uh, to walk through Millennium Park. We walked across the Chicago River. Thankfully, the planks held. Um, well, that was really cool. And just walking through Millennium Park and just seeing all the beautiful Christmas trees. But it definitely. And it's more festive here than it was in, um, in Colorado, for sure. Uh, it's, it's so beautiful, so pretty. Just so happy to be here um, in this beautiful, amazing city and again with my family. Yeah, it, it's just like you know, just seeing just another side of life. You know, a kid from Mississippi, um, just going to Colorado, coming to Chicago, just being able to explore all these unique places that are so different from where I'm from. It's just it's such a blessing. It's just such an opportunity to grow as a person. So I'm just excited to be here, happy to be here, enjoying our time here, enjoying my time with my family, enjoying my downtime. You know, still getting that work in, of course. Because, um, you know, I always got to keep my eye on the prize, which is the season, which is protecting my quarterback. And just getting time to spend with my family, enjoy the holidays, that's just, that's so wonderful. Out here in Chicago, it's very, very cold. And it's a different kind of cold, you know, like out west in Colorado, it was like really, really cold. But I mean, well, not really, really cold, like it snows, but it's not cold. Because I remember when I first got there in January, I thought I was gonna die. When I landed and saw all this snow, because I was like, there's no way a boy from Mississippi's gonna be able to make it. But it's not that bad after I got used to it um, after a couple months. But like being here, it's just a different kind of cold. Like earlier today, I was just wearing a hoodie, walking outside. So I'm like, oh, it's not gonna be that bad. That was freezing, because we ended up walking five miles. And now I'm in my puffer jacket. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it's cold looking here for like sure. Polar bear. Definitely looking like a polar bear, for sure. And then we have to watch out for my mom, because she loves just to hop in the roads without, <laughs> you know, a traffic signal or anything. Just enjoying the trip, loving the weather. My sister's doing a phenomenal job behind the camera and just, I love being in this big city. It's just so cool and exciting whenever I wake up, just being able to walk out and just see these huge skyscrapers, man. Still not used to it. Still not used to it. Guys, oatmeal and some fruit. This is all I eat at Colorado. This is my breakfast every day. You can ask even chef. They know I'm the oatmeal sugar guy and the fruit guy. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching, leaving Chi-Town. This is the first day it's actually snowed in Illinois, so Colorado already has the state of Illinois beach. Looks crazy, you know, I'm snowing very heavy. It's pretty cold, but again, I think Colorado's kind of got my body ready for the cold a little bit more. Um, it was absolutely, it was a wonderful trip. I love the time I had to get with my family, and can't wait to be back. Hopefully there's a bear one day.